Piers Morgan has taken to social media to share his thoughts over whether Prince Harry has the right to wear his military uniform at the Queen's funeral. Piers Morgan has taken to Twitter to weigh in on whether or not Prince Harry should be allowed to wear his military uniform to the Queen's funeral, which is being held next Monday. The former Life Stories host, 57, is a usually a fierce critic of Harry and his wife Meghan Markle, but in a turn of events, the TV personality justified the prince's right to wear his uniform. In view of his 7.9 million followers, Piers staunchly defended the Duke of Sussex's right to wear his uniform for his grandmother's funeral. The TV star wrote, Harry should be allowed to wear his military uniform. He earned it. The talk TV personality was responding to a tweet by CNN correspondent, Max Foster, who shared an update from the Duke of Sussex's spokesperson. It read, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex will wear a mourning suit throughout events honouring his grandmother. His decade of military service is not determined by the uniform he wears and we respectfully ask that focus remain on the life and legacy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. It ended, spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex. It comes as Prince Harry has been banned from wearing military uniform to pay respects to his late grandmother, while an exception has been made for Prince Andrew. Despite not holding any military appointments following his decision to step down from his royal duties two years ago, Harry served in the British Army for a decade, including two tours of Afghanistan. As a former major, Harry would have been entitled to wear his Blues and Royals uniform to official events, including the Queen's State Funeral on Monday, September 19. Harry will be seen in mourning dress alongside his relatives permitted to wear a military uniform. In line with royal protocol, King Charles III declared that only working members of the royal family are permitted to dress in military uniform during ceremonial services for the late monarch. It comes after peers claimed Harry and Meghan have been trashing the royal family since they stepped down from their senior roles in 2020, amid their return to the UK following Queen Elizabeth II's death. In his column last week, the former Good Morning Britain presenter alleged that in order for the royal family to bury their rumoured hatchet, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex needed to stop speaking about them. Piers began by slamming Prince Harry's new statement about honouring his dad, the newly appointed King Charles III. Piers claimed that the 37-year-old prince had done everything but honour his father in the last few years. The outspoken host pointed out previous comments from Harry, in which he said his dad made him suffer as a child and alleged the family had cut him off financially. Meghan has also opened up about her life in the royal household on several occasions. Most recently, she told The Cut magazine that, by existing, we were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy. In his New York Post column, Piers ranted, Harry, if you really want to honour your dad, nix your salacious tell-all and reign in your royal's trashing wife. He went on to say, Harry has been treating Charles in a similarly dismissive way, making a mockery of the couple's supposed commitment to compassion.